Hey, hey there. Um, I'm Jen Rice and I am in the rain getting ready to walk inside but since it's storming and lightning I pulled out a um, little notebook I have and I had a note in there that caught my eye. It was actually while I was visiting my good friend out in uh, Boise, Idaho. Her daughter and I were sitting at the kitchen counter one morning and she was practicing her cursive writing, her cursive writing, and I was like, oh my gosh, they're still teaching cursive writing in school. And she said, yeah, yeah, they teach it at, at my child's school. I'm, I can't recall if she is in public school or not in Idaho, but at any rate, I remember that morning making a note in my notebook to look up um, cursive writing and to just explore um, at some point you know, I learned it in, I think, third grade, and I had heard that nobody was using cursive writing anymore. And actually, when I was doing my research, um, since I've been sitting here in the car for a few minutes, I decided to look up how many states are actually teaching um, cursive writing in public schools. And I was reading, and maybe any of my teachers who are watching or uh, parents with kids maybe are more up on it, but I was reading that... Um, 45 states no longer teach uh, cursive writing and um, you know I was I would kind of feel like maybe it was a lost art because obviously we we do so much with computers I mean texting iPads computers everywhere I don't even think I had um, I don't even think I had a computer I'm gonna really date myself but we had like a computer lab and it was like they were these huge things right um, so hey Sandy I'm glad you're watching so your son uh, learned in first grade okay so they're doing private school so Common Core um, hmm, plus minus um, however I want him feels um, I think was the uh, was the resource that I saw for the 45 states that don't teach it um, and when they talk about cursive writing they're really talking about like our old school grandmother's writing like I learned it um, so anyway, I thought it was really cool that her daughter was practicing this at the counter. Cool enough that I was like writing it down because I really thought maybe it was it was gone for good with all the technology. And when I was looking up just facts on cursive writing, they said that modern cursive writing um, actually emerged in the in Renaissance Italy, and basically in the 19th century, you were considered to be you know, better educated if you, um, it was like a sign or a mark of good education if you actually knew how to do cursive writing. And of course, um, you know, this carried on to where they're saying that most of us learned second, third grade, although Sandy's saying now they're pushing it in private schools to much um, younger, which is, um, you know, helpful, I suppose. So, I wanted to look up a couple different perspectives because there's a lot of, um, I guess there's a lot of controversy around this. Some people think it's totally useless. Other people are super passionate about it. So when I looked up why teachers, um, you know, what teachers that were behind it, why they thought this was important, they said that they felt like it helped people write faster. It helped them with spelling and it also helped with dyslexia. So those were three things that, that the teachers that were for te um, you know, learning cursive writing um, was really helpful. So what were the reasons that maybe it's not helpful? I mean, potentially, uh, can it be difficult for some people to read? I mean, I know as I've gone along in my cursive writing, it's certainly gotten more uh, chicken scratch-like, which is part of it. Ooh, big thunder. Hopefully we'll be uh, we'll be all right with our signal. Okay, so the biological benefits. I actually because I love to look up the science part. So I wanted to see what the um, I wanted to see what the scientists were saying about it. So they said that there's hand and eye coordination benefits, and that when they actually look at um, studies in the brain as someone's writing cursive, they're seeing lots of cerebral lots of this cerebral hemisphere being activated during the writing. So I thought that was really interesting that there's these areas are lighting up as you're doing cursive writing. Yeah, and Sandy says it helped her son's penmanship. I know some men, I mean some of us women don't have the best handwriting, but sometimes um, yeah, it's just almost you can't you can't read it. 
So psychological benefits. They're saying, um, and some teachers cited this too, that when a child learns penmanship and is accomplished with it, meaning like they've completed the task, it's not like they have this most elegant, oh, I had this girlfriend in high school, Laura. She had the most beautiful cursive writing. I was always like, wow, she writes amazing. Now, I, I'm left-handed, so I always feel like that's my excuse why my curse is <laughs> So any of you other left-handed people out there might, might relate. We can hide behind our, uh, our left-handedness sometimes. Anyway, so the fact that you can do a task, it looks good on paper, you've completed it, um, that can be very helpful, they're saying, for the psychological learning curve. Um, other things that, that some people were mentioning is one cool thing that I never even thought of, but like I guess if you don't learn how to write cursive, you really don't know how to read it that well for some reason because you're not really taught it. So like reading old letters from grandparents, reading old documents, someone was even saying reading the Declaration of Independence because we know that's like, woo, right? Lots of lofty cursive. So I guess there is a, a part of the society, which I'd love to hear from you guys if you're in my Facebook community and you have like some really good reasons why cursive shouldn't be taught anymore. I would just love to know kind of the ins and outs of that. I guess it has something to do with like the fact that we type everything and that um, writing like, what do they call it, like manuscript writing? I think that's what they're calling it now. I'm not a language expert, but um, oh yeah, you need to know how to sign your name on official documents, right? But are people just printing? I don't know. So I just thought this was a really cool topic and when I was stuck in the car here, you know, don't want to get hit by lightning or anything, I thought, well, I'm going to look back in this note and see why did I make a note about her daughter doing cursive and I think it was because I wanted to see if this was like a dying art and sure enough, I had no idea that 45 states don't teach it anymore. Maybe that's changed from the stats that I got, but I was like, wow, okay. Um, so anyway, if you guys found this interesting, um, throw me some comments and if you'd like to share it, please do. Um, if you'd like to catch me anytime I go live, just hit the subscribe button in the upper uh, corner there and um, I hope you guys have a great day. I think I, I think I can almost make it inside now. Take care.